think she's flying this Also known as a bus stop Always talking about what he wants And just sits on his broken soul No, I don't want your number, no I don't wanna give you mine, and no I don't wanna meet you nowhere, no Don't want none of your time, and no I don't want no scrub A scrub is a guy that can't get the love from me Hanging on the passenger side of his best friend's ride Trying to holler at me I don't want no scrub A scrub is a guy that can't get the love from me Hanging on the passenger side of his best friend's ride Trying to holler at me He's not checking me, but his name is kinda weak And I know that he cannot approach me Cause I'm looking like class and he's looking like trash Can't get with a damn beat ass So, no, I don't want your number, no I don't wanna give you my Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair? And welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. So today I have one of the new units from Outre's Color Bomb series. Her name is Courtney, and I have Courtney in the Wheat Blonde color. Now, Outre came out with this series last year, and at the time they released really fun, vibrant colors like reds, purples, blues. And I actually did a lookbook on those ways for me want to check it out I will link that in the description box but then this time they decided to bring color bomb back with a blonde collection when I saw this y'all I was excited I was so ready for this I was like wow originally I got Kamani which is the wavier wig from this collection and I got the wrong shade for my undertone like it just wasn't working and you guys will probably not see that wig at all and I was so mad because I really wanted to try Kamani at least in one of these colors so then Sans Beauty came through and decided to sponsor this video and send me Courtney so shout out to Sans Beauty for hooking your girl up because this right here yeah. <laughs> okay let's just get into the specs real quick it is a lace front wig which means there is lace to cut out the pack this is actually a right side part wig but I just shifted mine to the middle because I wanted it to be a middle part wig on the stock card on the inside here it shows the different colors um, Courtney comes in and it says it comes in exclusive blonde shades uniquely designed blonde shades uniquely salon designed blonde shades it has pre-plucked soft lace swiss lace it does come with baby hairs it does have your two combs in the front a comb in the back with an adjustable strap and it says it has premium synthetic fibers also i noticed it says i don't know if you can see it but it says selfie worthy styles on here <laughs> i swear the marketing outro I, I see what you did there. Let me give you a quick 360 of this unit and we'll dive right into my thoughts. Now, as far as applying this unit, I did what I normally do. I put it on, I applied some got to be glue. I actually used the bedhead free spray. I added some powder into the parting space. I also added some of my pressed powder. That's my skin tone. I added that to where my widow's peak is because it was peeking through and now it's looking pretty good. So let's just dive right into my thoughts on Miss Courtney, starting with the pros. The first pros of this unit, which is clearly evident right out the pack, is this astounding color. Like, I'm in natural lighting, so this is the true color of this unit. Do you see this? Ooh, look at how I hit in the sun. <laughs> Sunlight? Look at them lashes. But no, do you see this, you guys? Oh my goodness, like, look at the dimension in this color. You got a lot going on here. You have some ash blondes over here. You have like a lighter number four. You have a little platinum blonde that fades into this darker, deep um, chestnut brown. I mean, look at that. Ah, I am highly impressed with Outre when it comes to the colors. I remember when synthetic wigs came in like a variety of four or five colors. It was, let's see, you have your typical 1, 1B, number two. You'll have a 2T30 maybe. You might have a 1B27. You might have a 99J. I have a 530, which is like a more burgundy color. That's it. That's all. But synthetic wigs have come a long way. Nowadays in 2020, you are able to get 
a custom colored wig for under $40. Like when they say salon designed, this is the type of color you go to a salon and pay for. Custom. Look at that rooting. I love that they use softer brown roots on this wig because when it comes to like blonde wigs, I prefer my root to be a little bit softer. I don't really like the, you know, harsh number two or one B and then 30 type of combination unless it's blended um, a certain way. I've become really picky about that. So when I see this type of craftsmanship, round of applause, Altre. <laughs> I can go on and on, but y'all know I love the color. That's my top pro. Another pro to this unit is that the hairline does come pre-plucked and it may be hard to see here. I don't know, but they pre-plucked it a little bit for us. Of course, you can go in and pluck it more, but I like the way it comes. I also really love the fact that this came with brown lace. You see that lace? True brown lace. And as a dark-skinned woman, especially a woman who loves wearing blonde hair, I feel like this was made for me. <laughs> I feel like your girl was in the lab. Like, seriously. So I really appreciate that. And another pro is the style. I mean, you just can't go wrong with a sleek, straight wig. There are some very light, long layers in here. And I also really like the density of this unit. I like a lighter density. So this is like probably more like a 130% density. That works for me, but I know some people like a thicker density. Now, as far as the cons, this is where I'm a little bit, I don't know. When I took out the pack, I was like, oh man, I knew this wig was gonna be silky. And a lot of you already know I don't like silky wigs, but this is where it's a little different. Like this type of silky is not like, baby doll hair silky. It, it feels like, first of all, I feel the weight in the hair. Like the weight of this hair reminds me of a light yakky texture, even though it feels more silky. I, let me know if you feel what I'm saying. I don't know if it's making sense, but those who wear synthetic wigs often probably know what I'm talking about. Like it feels weighty and I like it. Running my hands through it, it doesn't feel like plastic fibers. It, the fibers feel nice. On the stock card, it does say premium synthetic fibers, so I think they are on par with that. But I did notice some shedding out of the pack, and I am, right now I'm not getting any more shedding, so maybe the shedding is over. So I guess the shedding's not really much of a con. So that's really all I have to say. I'm surprised, like even though this wig is silky, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and the color definitely has a lot to do with it. Please, if you want a 1B natural color wig, don't get this collection. I can name several of the wigs that you can get that are probably a little bit cheaper if you just want a natural color. Get this collection for the color. Trust me, there is a blonde for every skin tone in this collection and that is what I love because a lot of people try to act like black women can't wear blonde hair and it's a little annoying but I'm over it by now because I know what I can rock, I know what I look good in, and I wanna encourage all of you out there, especially if you are my skin tone or around my skin tone, I want you to like venture out into different colors, and it's not just about your skin tone, it's more so about your undertone. So try this line out, you guys. I'm definitely recommending Courtney for sure. Try a different blonde and see if it'll change your life. All right, y'all, let me know how you feel about Courtney in the comments down below. How do you feel about this wig? How do you feel about the color on me? Is it something that you would try or are you thinking about another blonde from this collection? Let me know. Also, one constant wig for me was the cap size. It's fitting very snug on my head. I'm a medium sized cap, like a true medium, and yeah, this isn't, this is fitting really, really tightly. If I wanted this side to stay along my perimeter, I would have to use the combs, but the combs were definitely pulling on my hair, so I decided not to do that. Also keep in mind, because I'm wearing it in the middle part, this is where the ear tabs stop. So if you wear it as a side part, then the ear tabs will go where they're supposed to go. I hope y'all like Courtney the way I do because I'm really feeling myself in this unit. I feel summertime fine, for real. Now, if you are new to my channel, be sure to tap that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And remember, I do have a giveaway going on. It ends Friday, May 8th. Definitely enter into that giveaway. I will link it in the description box. Also, if you want to see me in more blonde wigs, I have an entire playlist 
playlist dedicated to such where you'll find this wig and more. Check it out after this video. And if you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching. Shout out to Sam's Beauty. Make sure you check out their website and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I know that it can't out of me because I'm like last